I'm Lian. This channel is to share my journey as a wedding planner. You may find some useful tips for your wedding or for those who are not planning it. You may still find some inspirations here because I will share content on beautiful things as well. Subscribe, like and click the little bell so that you won't miss any of it. Hi, I'm Lian. Today I'm going to share some tips on how to plan a low waist and minimalist wedding. With these tips, I'm sure that we can do our part in reducing waste and be more friendly to the environment. First and foremost, we must have a general principle that we must opt for reuse and recycle whenever we can and try to minimize any unnecessary waste during the wedding. With this vision, let's go to tips number one. Point number one. Choose reusable tablewares and donate leftover foods. It's quite common that venue use real reusable tablewares for dishes, glasses, and more. However, for catering options, you might want to communicate with the caterers on the tableware options. Some caterers might provide single-use plastic plate, cups, and cutleries. So, you might want to communicate with them to choose the reusable tableware options like porcelain plates, stainless steel cutlery, and highball glasses. For leftover food, it's quite common that we observe a lot of leftover after the wedding event. So, if you want to plan to reduce this leftover or plan to handle this leftover food in a more meaningful way, you can actually contact social enterprise to explore how to actually handle it. So happened that I read an article about WAW in Malaysia, a social enterprise for food surplus collection. They will pack the leftovers at the venue itself. After it is being weighed and sealed, the rescued food will be delivered to the nearest located beneficiary and commonly is the urban poor people and they are doing this at no charges. It will make your wedding day be more meaningful by being able to bless the needy families, isn't it? So you might want to consider to contact the social enterprise and explore the options on how to handle the leftover food or donate the leftover food. Point number two, renting a gown or support sustainable brands. For the wedding gown, groom's attire, you might want to consider renting it. So there are a lot of rental options available for the wedding dress and attire and it's more cost effective while you are able to reduce the footprints as well. And for a wedding day, you can even ask your guests like by informing them or setting a team that they can actually wear something that they already own instead of buying a new dress. And actually all this can be part of the small efforts in reducing footprints. Third point, paperless invitation. So let's say your wedding, you have guest number of around 600 to 800 people. By average, you will have to print out around um, 300 to 400 invitation cards. So some of the couples might want to opt for um, paperless invitation like e-save the date e-invite instead of printing out the invitation card. It's quite a trend nowadays that people send e-save the date to their guests to inform on their wedding day. You can also opt for eco-friendly paper options like recycle and even seeded paper that you can plant to grow into flowers. Okay, next. Communicate with your florists on waste reduction initiatives. When you are renting a venue, you can actually see if they have any existing wedding decoration like the wedding arch or the walkway decor. If yes, you can actually use the existing decoration from the venue itself. And for the wedding decoration items, you can rent the props or the items that match with your team whenever it's possible. So all these are actually more cost efficient as well. For the centerpiece, you can also explore with your florist to see if they can use potted plants as the decorative items. So the benefits of having this is, it is cost efficient and it's creative 
wedding gift favors as well because your guests can actually take the potted plants home after the event. Another aspect is minimalist decoration concept. Minimalist decoration is a trend nowadays as well because you can keep things simple, nice, elegant with very minimal use of decorative items. You can explore with your florist on how to make it simple while nice on your wedding day. And for the flowers, your florist can use a combination of real and artificial flowers which the artificial flowers can be reused at the next wedding. And here comes the fifth point. Carpool. This sounds very easy but it might be forgotten in the process of planning a low waist wedding. Let's imagine that you have a certain number of guests. If each of them um, driving their own car to the venue, it will be less effective and more waste compared to carpool. You can suggest or encourage your guests to carpool to the venue itself. You can save the parking fees and if the venue itself have limited parking options, this will be a very good choice as well. And the last tip on how to plan a low waste and minimalist wedding. Be creative with your wedding favors. Consumable wedding favors will be less waste. Popular ideas like honey, coffee bean, olive oil and more. If it's consumable, it's more likely that it won't go waste. If you are buying drinking glasses, for your DIY bar, you can also make it a wedding favor. So it's more of like how to be creative with your wedding gifts. It's best that you can utilize something that you buy on your wedding and then you give it out as a wedding favor to your guests. Here comes to the end of the video. Hopefully you will like my sharing on the tips on how to plan a low waste and minimalist wedding. Of course, there are so many other steps that you can do to reduce waste on your wedding. So if you like this video, remember to click like and subscribe me. You can comment below for those topics that you would like me to share as well. So see you on next video. Bye!